today we are going to talk about the gate chart. The gate chart is one of the very fundamental visualization uh, because it essentially helps us to compare our KPIs with certain targets. And in analytics, what we say is that in a visualization, anything which is not compared against a target is almost incomplete. Yeah, so it's one of the very fundamental and the very basic um, visualization that we use. And Click has that and let's get started. Let's see how Click help us in that. So in this particular one, we only have one measure. So there is no dimension because it's just compare it against a target. So let's just add a measure. So let's add our sum of quantity. Here we go. So you see, it already given us a message and it's from one to 100, whereas the actual value is somewhere a lot. But before we go to that particular setting, we're gonna come here and just change the label as we, and if you don't know the details of these, we have discussed the detailed properties of the data and other properties which are common between charts in another video. I will share the link in the description. Okay, so the next part is, that we can just choose a number and here the number is important you see uh, because if you keep the auto it will automatically use the notations uh, but if you don't know that mm, uh, you don't want to get into that so we can just choose your own one. most of the times what we do is we use the number with the percentage so that we have the comparison we divide it by certain value and we try to compare so for this particular one what we're going to do is that we're going to go into the appearance. Add-ons are just simple. Data handling, we know that. This is used to showcase it. And for the reference line, yes, we can have a label. Let's say average or minimum sale. And let's say this should be my 500k. Yeah, here we go and I have a line over here, it's not showing, it will show in a while and we can change the type. Now let's go to the presentation first and let's change it to 65 ton so that yeah. yeah here we go, this is good, this seems like good so yeah, you see now it's fill and we have this particular line so now if I go to add on and I have, I can change the into a different dashed line or something like that. So that's it. But the most of the properties in the gate chart is here in the presentation. Alternate state, we have already discussed that in our that particular video. The link is in the description. So we can give the minimum and maximum range. So by the way, these ranges can be dynamic. For example, here I have written it, you know, in a complete way complete just a number starting number but I can add it like you know I'm just giving it a run lighter number so you know it automatically picks up with certain quantity here and we can uh, link it with any expression way we want uh, the next video my, my next video is gonna be on the expression so stay tuned uh, that we gonna be in couple of months a uh, couple of weeks so stay tuned on that uh, that will be a big video and uh, that will cover a lot of ground okay so and here we have two options we can make it bar or we can make it radial for the bar we do have option for the orientation that we can make it vertical or horizontal for that particular chart okay and if we have the radial bar has this additional properties okay the rest of the properties are same. I'm going back to the radial one. And you see we have the option for segments. So if we turn on this particular segmentation, you see this on use library colors. Library colors are defined in the master images. So we are not going to use that. Once you turn that off, we have the option to add a limit. And you see, as soon as we turn on the segmentation, a needle appears here. So previously, if we don't turn this on, the fill size, let me do that again, 
the fill size determine what is the actual value of this particular cape here and if we turn that on so that particular needle gives us the value okay so and if now I add a limit at the moment it's all one color so it's one segment if we want to add another segment I will just click on a limit and it automatically does is, is just you know give you a value which is actually the current value so we can just adjust that particular value you see it's adjusting over here and if you want to be very precise you can make you can be precise for example let's say I want to make it 300,000 yeah and yeah it automatically adjusted and I want to add another limit and let's make this particular limit as just keep make sure that which hour value you want to change just click on this particular dot first because otherwise you're gonna mix up certain values so let's add 500k over here yeah. and oh, sorry I think I added one less zero yeah now it's good okay so if you want to change the colors now we can change the colors as well just by clicking it over here and these are some clicks basic colors so you can from this palette you can choose the advanced coloring so just let's add the red one over here we see that if it is red it's not good this should be yellow here we go yellow and this is green okay so now our needle gives us exactly where we are and we can make it gradient and the good thing is you can make one segment gradient one or you can make both of them ingredients here it's now giving us a nice look so these are the properties over here and then we have the options to labels only the labels only is the value or we want to have the title only so we can just have the title or we can have both of them you know these labels over here so when we have the labels we have the option for narrow or the wider ones for the scale so the wide one don't have this in between thing and narrow has you know these values so that's pretty much it from this particular side yeah one more thing that uh, just a trick that you can mm, rather than showing these labels over here we can you should go for none and if you want to just add title we can add title as comparison or quantity sales achievement let's name it that way by quantity that's it and here's some nice looking chart and you can again always adjust the sizing so yeah that's pretty much it from my side stay tuned bye bye